London police now arresting a second suspect in the Parsons Green terror attack from Friday. This is the second arrest in the case. Meanwhile, the Met has also planned to cordon off and uh, facilitate more investigations. So far, more than 200 people were in fact evacuated from the Cavendish Road area in Sunbury. Police say that further investigations will be carried out. The arrested suspect will be questioned to find out if there were any other attackers involved. Not sure if it's this train or the other one yet. Police will also look into the CCTV footage before and after to track the movement of anyone involved, saying that this arrest is significant and there could be more arrests following. Let's listen in terms of reaction first. Communities across the UK will continue to see more officers, both armed and unarmed, on patrol by foot and in vehicles over the remainder of the weekend. And in particular, they will be patrolling at crowded places, iconic sites, transport hubs and ports. All right, let's go to Mandy really quickly. Mandy, uh, you know, standing by there, you are in London. I mean, this is obviously, what, the third or the fourth time something like this has happened. So unfortunately, London sort of getting used to this. But uh, talk about that area and perhaps uh, where this attack happened on Friday and how uh, that area is uh, known for those who perhaps aren't familiar with London. Parsons Green. Well, Parson Green is a uh, part. Of, it's a it's a nice place. It's very middle class. Uh, it would be a commuter belt. So this is where uh, young families they would commute into London. Um, uh, it would happen during rush hour. So the height of when office workers are heading into London. It's also part of the the school run. Lots of um, parents uh, have to commute a bit to bring their children to school. So lots of school children were also on that platform at that time, it was absolutely rammed because the, the tube system, the underground system is so oversubscribed, especially at peak times. And of course, for a terror attack, it is the perfect moment to strike. Um, but Parsons Green is fairly middle class, well off. It's, it's your typical uh, rural England. Um, and it would, when I what was in Parsons Green on Friday, lots of people expressed their surprise that it would be uh, that that location be under attack because although they're used to terror attacks in London, they're used to it happening at iconic central London, whether it's Westminster or Borough Market, areas where people associate more with central London rather than more suburbia. All right, uh, Manny Stabai will we'll continue getting updates from you as well. Also, uh, as uh, people were dealing with the situation now, again, a second arrest. Now, this coming 24 hours after a homemade bomb that exploded at that station in West London, as we just heard from Mandy, 29 people hurt. Police were also seen patrolling the London station, even as the terror threat level was raised to the critical level by the British government. Locals and tourists, though, say they are not deterred by those attacks. Mandy, in terms of the terror threat level, I mean, it's gone back and forth. Uh, what exactly does that mean? And uh, how is the mood there on the ground in London? You are there uh, talking to people. What are people saying when it comes to uh, yet another terror attack on London soil? So the, to, to answer the first very question, you know, going back and forth from uh, severe to critical, critical to severe, uh, what critical means, it's the highest level. And that means they have uh, intelligence or that a, uh, a terror attack is imminent, that, they, that the, a terror attack is in the latest stages of planning and are likely to happen if they don't do anything to prevent it. So that is when it's critical. They have really important information. Severe means that it, a terror attack is highly likely, but they won't necessarily have uh, late stage planning. They, they won't be aware of a specific attack, but there is a number of threats. So the fact that it moved up to critical would imply the intelligence services have good knowledge of another terror plot that is in the late stages of planning. And that is a worry uh, for everybody in the UK. When I spoke to people in Parsons Green, were they worried about the attack happening at Parsons Green? Would it change their uh, commuting habits? You know, it's a similar refrain that I've heard. One woman said, "Very." I said, are you going to get back on the tube? And she said, point blank, of course I am. I change, they win. So I'm going to, I'm going to get back on it, and I'm going to show them that they can't scare me out of my daily routine. They can't scare me out of the way I live. And that, that sentiment was reflected in many people I spoke to. So it, it's, it's, and we've witnessed it in many, after many attacks, the sentiment that I will continue as normal, I'm not gonna change how I live 
for terrorists. And really that quick, is the sentiment we're getting in London. And really quickly as well, Mandy, with regards to that, I mean, luckily, I guess 29 people, 29 people are only hurt, no deaths, which is somewhat of a good news, I guess, if there is any icing on the cake. But uh, again, do we have any idea of groups or any other information? I mean, police are saying this second arrest is crucial and important, but really no other specific details coming out just yet, right? Exactly. And th they will remain tight-lipped on it. They were, of course, very angry when there was those le leaks from the Manchester arena right. uh, with the name of the bomber coming out of the States. They want to make it um, this information very tight. The implication that this in the second arrest would, have, would be that this is not a lone wolf attack, that the person possibly had help planning building this bomb, thankfully, that, that was badly built or it went off badly. So, but however, he had, or she, oh no, is he, because it was male, um, had help building it. That would imply a network. So there is likely more than one person, and so it could be linked to um, extremism. And what we do know is when it's a critical threat coming from abroad, the implication is it, it could be Islamic State. When I was speaking to one security uh, specialist, they said the fact that they... Uh, Theresa May specifically said um, uh, forces outside of the UK would imply that this is a terror threat coming, being planned abroad, but due to take place here. All right, Mandy, getting us the very latest. So thank you so much for those updates. And now let's also get some reaction from those in London on this attack. We're still visiting. We're still, we don't want to just stay inside and let the terrorists win. So we're still touring the city. We're just being more careful. But it has effect with my thinking about it. And just walking over the bridge made me just take her hand and just walk fast. Uh, but we're going to London Eye and we're going to do all the tourist things today. Uh, but it's in the back of my head all the time. We, we make sure we get on the tube the next day. So I'm on the tube today, deliberately, because yesterday something happened. If we all stayed at home, it would, London would change very quickly.